Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about getting a weed eater prepared to do lawn work. And also some things that you need to make sure that you have when you're going to do lawn work is you need to be wearing some shoes that you already have ruined. Look at mine. These are my usual lawn shoes. Make sure you don't get shoes that you like because they're going to get ruined. So just wear a pair that is already ruined. So if you ruin your shoes, keep them to do the lawn work, okay? And also, you need to have water. I have a bottled water here to keep yourself hydrated. A lot of times when, during lawn mowing season, it will be hot outside and you're doing physical labor and those two combined together could cause a person to get dehydrated so make sure you have some drinking water that you can drink also um electrolyte drinks you can use, those would be good choices as well i think water is probably the best choice so with this uh weed eater we have here notice that there's no battery in there and i put no battery on purpose because over here I'm gonna have to change this out, this weed eater string. And it's quite a task. As a matter of fact, let me in, let you in on a little secret. I've never changed this out before. So this is gonna be my first time trying. So if you're somebody who has never done this before and you're scared to try, don't be scared. Just get in there and try. I have opened this orange thing up before. You just press this side plus the other side. And lift up. And it comes out. Just lay it on the side. And you'll see there is an, a piece inside that you can pull out. I've always matched this up with that side because it's the same. There's like a big gap there that those orange pieces fit into to click in. And so when you put it in, just make sure you put it in like that. And you can see there's no more weed eater string on here, so I need to change it out. And this green weed eater string that I have in here was actually the wrong size. And you're not supposed to use the wrong size, so I bought a box of items that are the right size and it looks like it's never been open but I'm I'm sure it's been open because the I did replace the orange thing let me lay this down here because look it's getting grass all over my pants but why should I care because I'm going to use these pants to mow anyway oh and that's another thing if you are allergic to a lot of the plants in your yard, I would wear pants. That's why I wear pants to mow my yard because the grass itches my legs. Because grass will get on your legs when you weedy and mow. So make sure you wear something to cover your legs such as pants. And if you are allergic, as soon as you finish your yard work, get in the bath and wash all of that off of your legs and any other part of your body that came in contact with it. Oh yes, let's, it has a whole new thing like this. So let's grab one. Yes, yeah, so the side that looks like this with the circle and writing on the sides is the top and the side with the saw looking grooves is the bottom. And that's how we know how to place it inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one. This is gonna be easier than I thought. I'm so proud of myself for being able to do this. Okay, and you can see that there's tape on it. So let's take this tape off. I've removed the tape. And I need to get the 
end. I do believe this is the end. It's in that hole for you to make it easier to find. Just pull it out and now you have the end. You're going to play. Let me move so I can show you that. So we saw the saw side where the saw design goes on the bottom, but we are going to place, let me get this holding this really good so it won't move around. Going to take this end and stick it through that hole. You've got it through the hole, you pull it through. And then you line up, see that side and that side, you line it up with the, the rectangle holes on each side. But actually, I'm gonna unwind this a little bit more so I have more string. It seems like it cuts better when I have more string out. There. And then my orange top is right here. And I just whoop, put the spring in the middle and each side goes in the side, pops in, click, click, click. All I have to do now is put my battery, my charged battery, I have to slide it into that end, and then I'll be ready to weed it with my weed eater. And this is a Black & Decker Easy Feed in case you're wondering what brand it is. And I do recommend if you have trouble with the gas powered weed eaters and starting them that you get this kind. Um, no offense to any woman, but I was an educate, uneducated woman when it came to lawn care. And I'm, I'm learning more and more every day. But when I was looking for a weed eater for myself, I realized that the gas powered weed eater was very difficult for me to get started and I was able to start it and but I wasn't proficient in using it. So I looked up a Google search and I put a weed eater for a woman because I wanted I figured that would bring up the simplest weed eater not saying that women are simple i know they're very complex i'm a woman myself no offense but um i knew that it would be something lightweight and this was it it was a lightweight weed eater that was very easy to use and so i'm proud of my google search because it helped me find the right weed eater and so there you go i recommend you get a battery powered one that is lightweight especially if you're a woman unless you just want to have that extra burden on yourself and um there you go so i'm ready to weed eat if you have any questions related to life skills or living independently go ahead and email me at tanya dillard the queen at gmail.com that's t-a-n-y-a d-i-l-l-a-r-d the queen at gmail.com and if you like the video, hit like, share, subscribe, and you're also welcome to comment. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye. Mwah.